So while we're in Reno, we thought we'd check out the National Automobile Museum. A lot of uh, cars for movies and uh, Disney movies. And there should be a Knight Rider and a DeLorean, it sounds like. Let's uh, check it out. Big these cars are. You know, like I'm standing next to this thing. It's like it's like bigger than a Hummer. Why would they be making that big? This 1910 Oldsmobile. It's pretty cool how they got it set up. We were just in like the early 1900s, late 1800s, and then boom, you know the 1930s, and they're showing all the movies and stuff. This car was owned by Sammy Davis Jr. It's a red one. What's wild is uh, the cars in there had 25 horsepower. This is a V8 supercharged 504 horsepower. That engine is pretty, to the A standards, that's a pretty badass, that's a pretty fast car. I said they had 230 to 300 cars. You didn't have count because they move them in and out every day. But uh, they definitely got a lot of cars. I spend hours in here looking at all this stuff. No matter where I go, I always see Summit Racing equipment from uh, local Talmadge, Ohio. And uh, a lot of these cars I've seen are built in Cleveland too. I didn't realize that Cleveland built a lot of cars back in the early 1900s. Wow, look at this bad boy. <laughs> Doc and Marty couldn't afford the $85,000 gold-plated DeLorean. They went with the cheap stainless steel one. It's pretty cool looking. 